today I will be quickly talking about the Fuji Instax cameras. Um, so obviously, um, these are instant cameras and that produces instant photos. Um, similar to Polaroid, um, most people that I have encountered, um, or friends rather, uh, who have seen um, these cameras when we go out or whatever they always say oh is that Polaroid um, these are not Polaroid cameras um, I know Polaroid is obviously synonymous to instant photography but I would like to give Fujifilm a credit for creating or for yeah for creating these cameras because um, I find it I find them to be a bit less expensive for the type of photos that people take um, using these types of cameras so it's obviously right now with um, impossible project um, developing new films for existing Polaroid cameras like for me somehow it's more artistic um, whereas the Fuji film Instax cameras um, have become like the instant, you know, like if you want instant photos for like say parties or just going out with friends or families, um, this is like your easier, cheaper, I guess, alternative. And not to mention that I have seen, you know, like there's like an increase in popularity for these cameras. I, I, I know a couple of people um, that already owns these so okay um, especially North America by the way so let's start um, I actually own three of them but I've been using two of them quite often the other one I just got recently um, the first one that I have that I had owned first is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 7 Mine comes in a pink and when you go to eBay or when you go to like other camera stores um, There's different um, Designs for this kind of model and this is the mini 7s. I know there's a mini 7 and a mini 7s I believe I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the difference is um, When you turn on this camera, you just need to pull the lens and then um the setting at the top will tell you what specific light setting you need to choose and then when you need to take a picture you just need to press here and obviously you need to look at the viewfinder um, as to the film you have to buy the Instax mini film and how you load it you just need to open that and then put the film in and make sure that the orange yellow stripe should be aligned to this area right here and then um, once you turn it on, you just um, make the first click, and then the plastic backing, like the protecting uh, plastic protector inside the film, will actually um, dispense off the top, and then you're ready to shoot 10 frames. Um, I believe this one uses um, for double A batteries, try not to use rechargeable ones because they don't work. Um, however, um, I don't see, I don't find this to be very energy consuming, so which works out really well because I end up using um, one set of batteries, which is four pieces for like more than a year or so. Um, the second one that I have is the one that I got, I think, sometime last year. Um, this is the Instax 200. As you can see, it's fairly big as opposed to the Mini. Um, in terms of photo size, I this one dispenses um, credit card or debit card, business card size photos this one dispenses a bigger fo um, photo so when you look at the back like it's probably um, so this is the back portion of the camera so it's a little bit smaller like the film um, I have seen comments that it's about as big as the spectra camera um, 
photo like Polaroid Spectra. Um, I haven't seen a Spectra photo myself, so I can't vouch for that. Um, the setting is actually on this side, like all the buttons and whatever. So you have the power, you have a small screen right here, um, which you obviously don't have on the mini. And you have a focusing option right here, which actually is kind of confusing if you ask me. And then the next button would be the light, normal, and dark in. Um, I guess this is similar to like the cloudy, sunny, and fair sky um, setting on the mini. And the flash. You also have a viewfinder on the side, which I find to be very, very inaccurate. Um, I never really get to center my, my subjects. I've only tried two packs of film using this one, and I got this one used. Uh, with two expired films, so the trial portion of it didn't work out really well because obviously I got expired films, but um, I'm actually bringing this to my trip next next um, two weeks from now, so um, I loaded it with so I'm using the white films Oops. So I got the Hello Kitty one and I already loaded it with one pack. So um, when I go on my trip next week two weeks from now um, I think I'm, I should be all good to go um, battery is also on the side you also need to use four double A's for that one um, you, and then the button is right here um, the last one that I need to talk about or feature rather is another Instax Mini um, this is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 10 so as you can see like the size is almost the same and it uses the same type of film um, if I am not mistaken this is probably one of the older models I'm not too sure because um, I think Fuji only keep at least like Fuji North America one they only keep the, um, the current active models that they sell um, as you can see right here at the bottom uh, at the top rather like there's actually a film cover where the film is this pens um, the the shut um, the shutter button is right here at the front and then right here I don't know what's the purpose of this one I find it to be very space consuming um, you have a focus focusing button right here and a power button and then on your side would be your flash and your lights and then darken so this one I find the space it's it's kind of very space consuming if you ask me and then at the back as well I guess where you're going to oops open the back film back door um, as for the battery um, this one actually uses a CR123 two CR123 batteries which is very different although I, I do have those in a rechargeable format and that won't work okay with with this one and the reason why I got these is I have my own personal project where I want to gather as many Fujifilm X10 as, I mean Fuji sorry Fujifilm Instax Mini 10 as much as I can um, in the next couple of years or so but anyway so I have tried shooting one film out of this one uh, it's like a leftover film um, from my Instax Mini 7 and exposure worked out really okay um, I find the focusing to be a little bit hard to use um, but I like the light end and the dark end portion. Like, there's no middle ground, so it's easier for you to gauge the, um, the exposure of your photos. Whereas with the Mini 7, since you have like the cloudy and the fair sky and the sunny, sometimes um, and the automatic exposure because you actually um, have the light right here and then the, the rest of them lights up as well, um, depending on the light setting of your subject. Um, or the location um, sometimes it's kind of hard to gauge the exposure so either I get too dark or too light um, but you once you get used to it um, you'll get an even exposure to images um, 
Um, as to whether I prefer Instax and Polaroid and Impossible film, um, I guess it, it depends on what what I'm shooting. Um, I actually like um, the Instax um, when I go out with friends on a party or on a dinner. Um, it's just a very fun camera and then people get to talk about it, which is a good conversation starter. And then when they see the photos, they're like, oh, that's... It's very cute and it shows up um, as opposed to the Impossible Project film and Polaroid where it has become a bit more artistic and um, you really had to make sure that you're not wasting any film because of the price that you had to pay per, per frame. Um, obviously with this one like you can have like funny shots and whatever. Um, which is what a party is all about, right? Um, although, like what I say, it kind of gets a bit frustrating when people say, is that a Polaroid? Or, or that's a Polaroid. Um, um, again, as what I've said, um, obviously Polaroid has been, has revolutionized instant photography, so you cannot help it when people associate um, instant photos with, with Polaroid. So I always have to, like, patiently tell them no it's it's instax it's fuji film i mean it come you know it's instant photos but fuji is making their own stuff right now um i'm actually hoping to get more of the older units uh, i think it's kind of hard to find them now um these models they actually come in different colors and different editions i guess which are Honestly, a bit overpriced. Um, however, so I mean, I just look for the the used ones. I did get my Insax Mini Seven new um, five years ago, and I used that on a trip when I went to, went back to Asia to visit family and friends. Um, I think it's a good. Um, camera when you're traveling sorry if you really if you're into those um scrapbooking stuff um i will be using my instax wide but i have my i have um a photo album ready for me and i'll be shooting with a digital as well so with a digital camera the one that i'm using on a video um for shooting this video but yeah so i hope um that was helpful. Um, I'm actually looking forward to test this out soon once I get more film. Um, I'm getting more film from a friend like when he went to Asia and I actually asked him to buy me some. So I'm really excited and I'm also excited to use my Instax 200 um, full blown usage, um, not just testing it. So I'm looking forward to do that, especially I'm going out to travel and I have three packs and they're all very thick. The film is really, is really cute so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry for the long wait uh, it's been crazy during this summer so it's hard for me to like um, come out with something photography related but I'm getting slowly getting back on track so I hope you guys again enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon bye bye